You might have heard about something called smart buildings. Uh, what you might not know is that there's a team within Azure IoT that is working at developing spatial intelligence capabilities. Um, I will not tell you much about what it is because Lirana is here on the show today hey. to tell us a bit about what's coming and give us you know, that sneak peek. Thanks, Lirana, for coming. Thanks. This is the uh, Internet of Things show. I'm Olivier, your host. Uh, today, with uh, Lorana here on the show, we will talk about smart spaces, right? Yes. Lorana, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, my That's pleasure. That's a first for you, hopefully mm -hmm. not the last. <laughs> Can you tell us a bit about yourself, who you are, and where you're coming from? Yeah, for sure. Hey, everyone. I'm Lorana. I'm relatively new here at Microsoft. I've been here for just over a year. And I came in through the LEAP program. And now I'm a developer on Azure IoT. Cool. LEAP. So what does LEAP stand for and what is that program? Yeah, sure. So the LEAP program is a diversity program. It started at the beginning of 2016. I was part of cohort four. So it's aimed towards different candidates, people without a traditional computer science background. So people who are career changers with diverse different experiences, okay. maybe folks that have graduated a coding boot camp, mm -hmm. or maybe they're self-taught with some also relative work experience alongside that. So you go through an application process, and then if you're selected, you come up here. And mm -hmm. it's a 16-week program. You do a project with your sponsoring team. Mm -hmm. And then maybe you have the opportunity to stay on Microsoft full-time, or at least you have some great real-world experience on your resume. I didn't know about this one. Love yeah. it. Yeah, That's awesome. Absolutely. So um, you said you're a developer in the uh, Azure IT group, right? Yes. What part of Azure IT, because now Azure IT is huge, right? We have yeah. tons of people, and we have tons of product we're working on. There's one specific that you came to give us a sneak peek at that you're working with or on. For sure. So my team is building new spatial intelligence capabilities. OK, so it's a new platform that mm -hmm. enables our partners to build solutions and services that then they could provide to their own customers. Okay. And right now, it's primarily focused on smart buildings and smart spaces. Smart building. So <laughs> we have a building here. Mm -hmm. How do you make a building smart? OK, so that's a great question. So first, I want to just step back and mention that with all of this IoT data, really what we're often attempting to do is to model the real world. Okay. So what these new APIs enable you to do is to model the relationship between people, places, and things. OK, so you can essentially configure what some of our partners are referring to as the digital twin of a building. Mm -hmm. So you would have your building, and then you would configure it. So you set up the building itself, and then the floors of the building, and then the spaces or rooms of that floor. So it's kind of like a hierarchy. OK, yeah, so okay. now you have the digital representation of the building. Then what you can do is set up all of your IoT devices throughout the spaces. Mm -hmm. And now you're getting your real-time telemetry data, your sensor data. So information on temperature, air quality, humidity, you know, energy consumption and mm -hmm. motion. Okay. Or, you know, it's pretty lim limited, unlimited yeah. possibilities. Yeah. And all of that mapped to the actual space that has been modeled yes. through the digital representation. Yeah, right? so exactly. Digital. So the combination of the sensor data with the building topology or graph is really where the magic happens. Mm -hmm. So with that, you're able to get a lot of insights about the building and understand what needs to happen from a maintenance perspective mm -hmm. or just simply create all of these rich experiences for the building occupants. Oh, where, where actually you were saying uh, you were saying that it actually is about mixing with people as well, right? Right, exactly. So that's where that uh, that interaction with people happen. Um, so you were mentioning uh, partners, actually, right? You were saying yes. that these APIs will allow our partners to create the solution for their customers or our joint mm -hmm. customers, right? Right. Um, which of these partners, like, do you have in mind or are already working with you? Because there's a private preview of these technologies you're developing. Right, that's uh, correct. So you already have partners that you've been working with. Yeah, absolutely. So like you mentioned, we're in a limited private preview right now. And one of the things I love about this platform is the breadth of possibilities mm -hmm. that it offers because it's so scalable, customizable, and flexible. Mm -hmm. So we're working with partners in different industries, construction, facilities management, and real estate. Some names that our viewers might recognize, Honeywell, Steelcase, CBRE, Willow, PCL Construction, just to name a few. Which are like well known actually in yeah. the space of uh, digital of, of of smart buildings, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, I like as well that um, the technology you talked about uh, 
smart spaces or spatial intelligence uh, capabilities, mm -hmm. not especially just buildings, right? There's going to be different, because right. your digital twin is about a building, but it could be about a meeting room in terms of size. It could be yeah, different, exactly. different things, right? Yeah, so I just wanted to touch real quickly on what one of our partners is doing, CBRE. So for people who are unfamiliar, CBRE is a world-leading commercial real estate and facilities management firm. So worldwide, they manage over a billion square feet of property, okay. and they just launched CBRE 360 that's built on top of our platform. So it's a mobile app, okay. and the mobile app enables the building occupants to find points of interest, to reserve a room, and to navigate the building. Okay. So you were just talking about meetings a second ago, yeah. right? So one of the main complaints that we hear within the space of meetings is that you'll get folks that will book a room or book a recurring meeting mm -hmm. that's you know, the same time each week for months at a time, yeah. but maybe they don't actually show up every time to the meeting. So what you have is these rooms that are flagged as reserved that are actually unoccupied. But yeah. once you have your sensor data flowing through the system, so real-time data that's sensing motion and heat, uh -huh. you're able to address that issue and you can set those rooms that are unoccupied as reservable so that a team mm. that really does need the space can book it. Mm. That, that looks to, that looks to be a very useful uh, application for us here at Microsoft yes, on the true. campus, We're right? Yes, that's true. We're also very guilty of that. <laughs> yeah. The application also has turn-by-turn -turn wayfinding, so indoor wayfinding that enables you to find, you know, get to where you need to go. Yeah, because once again, Microsoft Big Campus, like huge buildings these, with new yeah. layouts with all these neighborhoods and spaces yeah, and so on. Yeah, these buildings can be a maze. They are, they are sure. um, yeah, they are huge. Um, that's awesome. That's a lot of things. So can people already get some of the bits or read some more information somewhere? What's the next yeah, step for them? Great question. So we are in limited private preview right now, mm -hmm. but definitely stay tuned because later on the, in the year, we're going to have an exciting announcement and more news for you guys. But if you are interested in learning more about the solution, you could email smartspacespreview at microsoft.com. Awesome. We're going to add this email address here on cool. the description of the video. Sounds good. That was uh, very insightful, Lorana. Thanks. I look forward to having you again here with real demos with the actual yeah. thing, right? Because once it's going to be public, we'll be able to show some of that. For sure. Looking awesome. forward to that. Thank you. Thanks, guys, for watching the Internet Things show. And uh, don't forget to subscribe.